China's hypersonic triad pressing down on U.S. China's new sea, air and land-based hypersonic weapons are a formidable three-pronged deterrence against U.S. and Taiwan forces. For the first time, China has revealed the specifications of its YJ-21 hypersonic anti-ship missile, which was first observed last April during a test launch from a Type 055 cruiser. Alongside air-launched and land-based hypersonic missiles, the YJ-21 signals China's nascent hypersonic weapons triad for conventional deterrence. This week, South China Morning Post reported that the People's Liberation Army Strategic Support Force published an article in its official Weibo account that states the YJ-21 missile can travel at a speed of Mach 10, or 3,400 meters per second. It also claims that any known shipboard defense system cannot intercept the missile at that speed and that even without an explosion its tremendous kinetic energy will have devastating effects on its target. The PLASSF article also claims that the YJ-21's introduction marks a significant evolution in China's anti-access area denial capabilities, highlighting the operational flexibility and survivability advantages of a sea-based launch platform such as the Type 055 cruiser. The PLASSF's release of information on the YJ-21 may serve as a deliberate warning against the U.S. and its allies after then-U.S. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi's controversial visit to Taiwan last August. The unveiling of the YJ-21's export version at last year's Zhuhai Air Show, designated the YJ-21E indicates that the domestic version of the YJ-21 is no longer China's most advanced model of the type and that it may have more capable missiles in its inventory. The SCMP article notes that since it was the PLASSF that released information about the YJ-21, the missile relies on satellite guidance provided by the PLASSF to hit its targets. This implies that the YJ-21 is reserved as a strategic weapon against U.S. carriers, the most critical assets of U.S. force projection in the Pacific. Asia Times has noted that the integration of the YJ-21 on the Type 055 cruiser makes the class one of the most heavily armed warships in the world. With 128 VLS cells arranged in two silos of 64 cells each, a 130mm HPJ-38 main gun, U-8 anti-submarine rockets and U-7 lightweight torpedoes launched from two triple torpedo tubes. Brent Eastwood mentions in a December 2022 article from 1945 that with the YJ-21 the Type 055 cruiser will become one of the People's Liberation Army Navy's most capable assets. Furthermore, Eastwood notes that the Type 055 cruiser, the Type 052D destroyer and the upcoming next-generation frigate will be integrated into China's carrier battlegroups, which would operate in the East China Sea, South China Sea and Taiwan Strait. At the strategic level, China's emerging hypersonic weapons triad may align with its evolving concept of conventional deterrence which seeks to deter the U.S. and its allies from intervening in a Taiwan contingency. Michael Chase and Arthur Chan state in the 2016 book China's Strategic Deterrent Concepts that China views conventional deterrence as an essential complement to nuclear deterrence, 